hello guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl star flames in this video we will be talking about yay rumored to be meeting with martin klein now i know that many people may not be aware of who martin klein is and we're gonna get into that now what is interesting is that when this news hit social media many people had different reactions some people were like hmm this seems suspicious why is it that a jewish american community leader like martin klein wants to meet with Ye suddenly after adidas has donated a few million dollars to the jewish community it seems as though that money is so good they want to be friends with yay now because everyone wants more money some people were like heck no yay should not be meeting with any jewish leader not after what they did to this man and some people were pissed as they like what the mother 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 is going on here i don't like this not one bit and the reality is for me it is all of the above i like the fact that he's gonna meet with martin klein i hate it in the same stance and i'm questioning it and i'm questioning it in the same stance and i'm like you know what he shouldn't be doing this but at the same time he needs closure and this meeting should have happened from the get-go instead of them declaring war against this man and consistently taking from him yes we've seen it right you told us it would have happened and we've been talking about it a lot on this channel but the big part is that we have to think about Ye and not so much ourselves because at the end of the day, Ye is the one who is dealing with all the atrocities directly. It definitely hurts us. It definitely affects us. But I believe in healing and moving on. But what I don't appreciate is the consistent need of the Jewish community to be promoting dominance and power over the black community. I hate that as shit. But then we have to blame ourselves because guess what? If we don't give people power over us, they cannot have any power over us. It doesn't matter. Jews, Christians, it doesn't matter who you are. We're all people and we all should be treated with love, respect, and equality and that's what i believe your color of your skin should not matter your religious group should not matter especially when it comes to religion because let me tell you something honey religion has caused more chaos and division than anything else in this world so i believe that our religious background should not be keeping us separated we have come too far to be living like animals and that's what I believe about that. Now, Martin Klein is a German-born American economist, statistician, a pro-Israeli activist. He's the, president, he's the president of the Zionist Organization of America, and he was named as one of the five top Jewish leaders in the United States by Forward, right? They're saying Klein was born to a Holocaust survivor in a displaced person's camp, right? Why is it that black people are never talked about in this manner? Ye is the survivor of the off ancestors who were a part of the slave trade. That's who Kanye West is. He is a offspring of a slave because his, you know, ancestors, because we're black people, we know the history. Not everyone black was slave. But if everyone is going to get their accolade and, in, and if everyone has been through trauma, I just need to put the reminder out there that Ye is coming from people who have been through tra trauma and horrific experiences of history just the same. Call it petty, but I'm going to say it. Ye is an entrepreneur, a business mogul, a genius, and a visionary. So let's get that in there, okay? Now, I'm not being petty or messy. I'm just being factual. And oftentimes, facts offend people, okay? 
Now, let's get into this video. They're saying that Global Intel, Global Intel Watch has learned from well-informed source that Kanye West lawyer Bruce Marx have started negotiations for a conversation to happen between Kanye West and Jewish American community leader Morning Klein. This comes amid Kanye West on suspension from Twitter, right? End of that little report there. No, I do believe that there's going to be some type of meeting because if you guys remember, we've heard that uh, members of the Jewish community have been calling to meet with Ye. But you know when your wounds are fresh, still oozing, still painful, it's not the ideal, it's not the ideal time for you to be meeting with anyone because you know, you may still say something that offends people, even though it's not within your intention to cause an offense or to upset anyone. Because with the Jewish community, I honestly have to say that black people tend to offend the Jewish community. And I don't mean this in any disrespectful way or manner. I'm just saying it as how I have observed this is how I've interpreted everything that has happened in the past few months as it relates to Ye, Kyrie Irving, and how I've watched the meaning of anti-Semite changed on the internet. Like, I've seen that, and it's not easy for me to forget that the meaning of anti-Semite was changed on November 2nd of 2022. So... It's given the sense that, you know, as black people, we can do even the simplest things that um, aren't meant to cause any hate, any, you know, I have to say unpleasantries to the Jewish community, but we may ending up causing hate, even without being hateful even without any intentions of being hateful, right? So I have observed this in the past few months based on what happened to Kyrie and based on what happened to Ye. And it's not a good look and it's not a good thing. So I have to say that I do believe in healthy discussions and I also believe that it shouldn't be with just Ye. And um, this gentleman, Martin Klein, I believe that it should be with, you know, respectable leaders from the black community as well as the Jewish community and other communities, right? Because the Jewish community has said that white people are their enemies as per Jonathan Greenblatt. I, be, I do believe that white people should also be a part of this discussion. And I also believe that this discussion should be, you know, something that is broadcasted live for everyone to see and, you know, watch. I believe that people should be able to send in their questions and their concerns. And those questions are or concerns and or concerns should be pulled from a list, right? So before the discussion, I believe that there should be like somewhere that you can submit your questions or concerns and they narrow the list down and those questions or concerns should be asked during the discussion. But I have to say that a start is a start and I believe in healing. And I do hope that this meeting does in fact happen for the black community and for the Jewish community. So as to ease any, you know, potential tension. And I do hope that after this meeting, you know, the Jewish community will feel better about Ye, even though we cannot really tell a group of people how to feel about an individual and how to view an individual. But I do hope that Ye comes out of this, you know, as a person that 
you know, is truly healing, feeling better and happy about the meeting. And I do hope that Martin Klein also feels that way and other members of the Jewish community and leaders also feels that way after such meeting. Also, what I would like to happen is that I would like other people to be, well, I've said that, I, I would like other people to be a part of the meeting. Maybe even if it's not on a large scale, maybe even on a small scale like Ye, two members of his legal team, um, someone like a Ice Cube, someone who understands what is going on in the Black community, but is also at the same time calculated in their delivery and someone who is very intelligent. You know, so off the top of my head, I can think of like, for example, an Ice Cube, not saying necessarily him, you know, because it could also be Candace Owens as well, right? But just saying like someone like Ice Cube off the top of my head. But guys, you know, this is just all I want to share in this video with you guys. I hope that I was able to say what I intended on saying without causing an offense to any group, community, or anyone. There's no hate in this video, just questions, concerns, and I believe that as you know, a black woman, I believe that the black community needs to stand together in solidarity. And I don't mean come together to cause war and chaos and outrage. I mean, just stand together in protection of each other, just as what we see the Jewish community doing. That's all I have to share in this video. Thanks for your time. Stay safe, stay blessed, and see you all next time. Bye, guys.